Harris. We're going to talk about what to expect during tonight's debate in just a bit, but we're going to start with Chris Van Cleve and what happened during this interview. President Trump cut short Tuesday's interview with 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl at the White House. It was Stahl's third interview with the president and included tense moments. The biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my well, campaign. There's Leslie. no e real evidence of that. Of course there is. No. It's all over the place. Leslie, Sir, they spied on my campaign and they got I, caught. Can I say something? You know, this is 60 Minutes. And we can't put on things we can't no, verify. You won't put it on. From there, the discussion grew more contentious. President Trump threatened to post the entire interview before its Sunday air date. Thursday, the White House did exactly that. CBS News responded with a statement saying the White House's unprecedented decision to disregard their agreement with CBS News and release their footage will not deter 60 Minutes from providing its full, fair, and contextual reporting, which presidents have participated in for decades. A senior White House official tells CBS News the president felt the interview was unfair and wanted to make it public. 60 Minutes released its own excerpts, showing the president's growing irritation at being pressed for answers. Tell people to wear well, you masks. don't. Leslie, we hand out thousands of masks. But you look out rally. and they're not wearing them. And you don't say, please put well, on your mask. You? Some media experts are calling the president's decision to release the video a form of distraction. In this case, the president's doing it in order to blunt whatever the result would be when this thing airs. Is it also an attempt to bully journalists? No doubt. I mean, uh, look, the president has said uh, that uh, one of his great tactics is to constantly call into question the public's trust of journalism. 60 Minutes says the interview with President Trump and another with former Vice President Joe Biden will air as planned this Sunday. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.